Yeah, I think when you look at and review the abstracts, you will see a lot of abstracts about combination therapy, uh, you know, combining BTK inhibitors in combination with BCL2 inhibitors, mainly venetoclax, plus or minus anti-CD20s. And so it really shows kind of, you know, where the field is moving and trying to assess how deep of responses can we obtain, how best to optimize uh, the combinations of drugs. Uh, we'll look at various tech um, uh, strategies to stop therapy uh, based on MRD attainment, achievement, just fixed durations of, of, uh, um, of time being on the drug regardless of response. And so uh, we are starting to get a lot more data understanding how effective these drugs are when they're combined. And to me, that's the big takeaway. When you look at the abstracts, we're moving away from monotherapy approaches and sequencing type approaches and really going towards these combination therapies.